So you sure no one's gonna hear us in here? Mm, no, it should be fine. Oh, okay. going on? What? What's going Stop. on? This is not the way that I've raised you. I don't know what's going on. What has happened to you? Look, I've wanted to tell you both for so long, but you make it so hard and I don't know what to do. Because this, this is who I am. This is not who you are. That's not a choice. It is a Mom. choice, Nick. If you choose not to change... I'm not going to change. Well, then you can no longer live in this house. I do love you. But this is not... This is not acceptable in this family. What am I going to do? It's not my problem anymore. Where am I going to go? It's not my problem anymore. Quickly go and pack your bags. Mum, I'm not leaving. Did you hear me? I said, leave!
Is it for cat? Um, yeah, it's like, 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 like. You always have family with me, right? I'll look after you. Thanks, Kat. Can we please get two of the same? Thanks. So why are we here? Well, my friend has his first show here tonight. He'll be on that stage. Is it track? <laughs> You're in Sydney now, baby. Shit, starting. that time he stole all my Barbie dolls, but would not admit to it? Bitches. Oh, hey, Mama Sita, how are you? Oh, you know, pretty amazing. Ah, uh, yeah, you slayed it out there. I was so proud. I know. <laughs> uh, can we get out of here before your fans mob us? Yes, no, please. <laughs> I'm dying to go home. All right, we'll grab our stuff. Oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> The beast. Nikki's first night in Sydney. Absolutely. Smile babe. for the dicky bird. Alright, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> the bass tune, that, my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, come on, honey. Good. Don't worry, little Nikki, we're gonna look after you. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, man. That's good from behind. Hello. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Baby drags, oh, what is your get problem? Up. Get up! Get up or I'm gonna slap you there. This is why I stayed home. Slut. <laughs> you followed me around for a week begging to be wearing that sombrero, I remember. It's the only thing I took with me. 
Hey, Nikki, you know that you're never going to lose me, right? Yeah. Thanks, Kat. Okay. Good night. Good night. My feet are killing me. <sighs> it's the best offer I've had all night. If you want more. You know I do. Guys, I just want to let you know that my cousin is sleeping on the couch. No, he can sleep with us. <laughs> okay, thanks for the offer. Night. That's got to be the nicest sounding alarm clock. I'll be here all week. <laughs> How's my Nikki? Yeah. It's been so long. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too. Everything good? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Coffee! Oh my god, thank the Lord Jesus. I need coffee. You want some? Yeah. Okay. And this is the couch surfer. <laughs> Sam. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Who's on the roommate? Good nice. morning. How you doing? Better. Good. Thank you. I've got to go. Ladies, let every man be master of his time. Yes. Whatever that means. <laughs> he likes to quote Shakespeare. Okay, I gotta go, you guys. I'm gonna be late. Oh, kissing cups. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, are we forgetting something? What? Oh my god. <laughs> so needy, come here. Mwah. See you guys later. See ya. Bye. Ah, yeah, no, no more chocolate chip cookies for breakfast. Have pears. You know what, you take that. Eat fruit. I'll take this and... No, that was disgusting. No, can you empty that out and clean it for me? Uh, yeah. Good luck finding a job. Thanks. No, 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 nope. That's a link done for the week. Call you. Oh, Nick. Eddie. You play? Uh, no, not guitar. A little bit of piano. Oh. You want a drink? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Cheers. Thanks. This would have to be the most uncomfortable sling I've ever been in. <laughs> I love spending time with you. Yeah. You're fun. <laughs> How'd you like a weekend away, just you and me? I would like that a lot. Where would you like to go? Somewhere hot. Mm -hmm. And... 
seems a bit tropical. Hmm. Brisbane. Oh, what's in Brisbane? Well, we could go to the Gold Coast. We could go swimming. We could go skinny dipping. Ooh. But, though Melbourne might be colder, we could practice keeping each other warm. Yeah, Melbourne would be perfect. Oh, yeah, would it? Yeah. Why's that? Well, the coffee's infinitely better. Um, it's a lot more culture. We can go to an art exhibit, maybe a theatre show, musical. You'd like that? Yeah, especially if you're there. That wasn't good enough. I can't wait to go to Brisbane with you. Oh! <laughs> Damn, somebody's looking good tonight, kitty cat. Just going for a drink with a friend. Right. Friend. Cat? Babe? Yeah? You know I've got your back, right? Yeah. Why, well, what's up? I don't know. Do you ever feel like you're wasting your energy with these guys that keep you on speed dial to distract them from their miserable mundane lives? Um, no, Mum, but thanks. Well, maybe I'm the only one that cares enough to have this conversation with you. I mean, I get it. I know I've been a little lost lately. I'm just trying to figure stuff out and I know it's easier for you. You've got this. You've got yourself sorted. Kat, you've got a job here as long as you want it. Thank you. I just think that it's really important that you start at least thinking about who you want to be and where you want to be. I hate seeing you get hurt. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. It's working out for me. But, um, I should go. I don't want to be late. You look beautiful. Have fun tonight, even if it is just a bit of fun. Who knows, he could be Prince Charming. <laughs> Don't wait up. Hey, did you even clock off? We're closing in 20 minutes, yeah? Uh, yeah, that, okay, that's fine. Already? Yeah, they, um... They like to get ready really early to have the customer set up before everyone. Even have a playlist I'll show you. You're gonna love it. <laughs> yeah, that'll get into the Christmas spirit. I love Christmas. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
This is actually nice. Hmm. Is it nicer than sleeping with a married man? Can it, Sam? Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I want to know why you're seeing him again. You said you wouldn't. You lied to us. As I recall, someone once told me, and you may remember who said this, we all lie, my darling. Mm, nope, that was different. What? I don't see how. So you mean to tell me that you have never done one slight thing that has been unscrupulous, Mr. Self-Righteous? I haven't lied about it. Hate to break it to you, Sammy, but you ain't no choir boy. Oh. Does that mean my choir boy career is over? What, what, what will I do? <laughs> I'm serious, though. You know, you're a big girl and you can make up your own mind, but... I just think you deserve someone better than that. Someone who doesn't want you on the side, but all the time. Someone who's worth all of your heart. And has a nice dick. Not just big, <laughs> but clean. But cl clean would be nice. Yeah, okay. I, I, I thought we were having a moment. Yeah. Uh, I was wrong. Very wrong. I love you, kitty cat. Yeah, I love me too. <laughs> It's not good news, is it? It could be better. It's all right, honestly. Just tell me. Okay, so your test did come back positive. You're HIV positive. Do you understand what that means? Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Listen, HIV is such a manageable disease these days. People live with it every single day, Sam. There's medications that suppress the virus. There's support groups. I can give you the brochure. What about Paul? Is he all right? I mean, it's really good that you guys had protected sex before you got tested. Uh, honey, I'm gonna be okay. Hey, hey, hey. So, um, you've been looking a little under the weather lately. I got you some multivitamins. You should mm. take them, okay? Uh, yeah, okay. Hey, Kat. Hmm? Um, What's up? I'm not sure if Sam's okay or not. What do you mean? Well, he's been in his room all day and he hasn't come out. Weird. Okay. I'll go check. Hello? Sam, I'm coming in, okay?
What's wrong? Sammy, you can tell me. Well, whatever it is, it might be better to talk about it. Sammy. I just went to see Blake. What did she say? I've got HIV. Blake would have told you about the medication, right? This is not a death sentence. Okay, this is something that you live with now, not something that kills you. Who's gonna want me? All of your family and friends who love you. That's not going to change. Sam, anyone who really loves you is always going to love you. You are kind of stuck with us now. I think Paul's gonna leave. If he goes, he goes, okay? You guys have only been dating two months. This is his chance to show you his colors and lay his hand and all those other metaphors you're so much better at than me. The right person will love you no matter what. What would Shakespeare say? I don't know. Yes, you do. To be or not to be? To be. Always. Leave you the house to yourselves, okay? And uh, if you need me, you just call, okay? I love you, Sammy. All right, I will let you make the rest of your team decisions on your own. Thank you. <laughs> so, how have you been, Nikki? Good. Mm? Yeah, I'm loving Sydney. Thank you again for, you know, letting me stay. I feel like I'm a burden and... Stop saying thank you. You are family. You're staying with us permanently. You know that, right? Oh, yeah, I plan to. <laughs> Good. Squatters rights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so... How long have you and Blake been, you know... Oh, um... We're, we're just friends. You know, we, we get drunk and we hook up sometimes, but that's it. Yeah, yeah. I just think, uh, Blake might consider you just a bit more than a friend. Bullshit. Mm -mm. Pretty soon I think you're gonna find out either way. You know what? You are ah, so full of ah, it. Blake, 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 help, 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 oh my god, I can't leave you guys alone for like two minutes. You're already pinching his nipples. <laughs> Nick, you were so calm and mature about Sam's news tonight. I'm really proud of you. Thanks. I wanted to let you know. Also, there's a job opening at Akon. And I think you should take it. <laughs> yeah. I put in a good word for you, don't worry. Cool, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Congratulations, Nikki. All right, celebrating Nikki's Cheers. new job. Ah, you're <laughs> not umbrella. <laughs> but tomorrow, you get to wake up heaps of... Whoa, Yay. guys, wait, 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 wait. Oh, God. That doesn't look good. Okay, maybe you should go in first and we'll follow later. Yeah. Okay, coming in like 10 minutes.
had this almond biscuit the other day and it just like gave me this flashback of how my grandma used to make me biscuits but then she used to be like really passive aggressive about it and make me feel guilty and say like you know I owe her for making these biscuits for me and she used to lay on the guilt like so thick and even though she only died like three months ago now my mom has taken over this role in my life and it's just like I, like confusing I guess but apart from that like everything in my life is going pretty well like I just moved into a new place and, uh, and I'm getting more shifts at work, but it's just like, you know. Yeah. No. No, I don't. <laughs> Nobody wants to date me. <laughs> like, I don't know why. Yeah, I know why. <laughs> what? Nothing, honey, here. Have, have a tissue. <laughs> you know, I think we should probably book another appointment for next week, but maybe with someone else. I... What? Yeah. Oh, well, hello. Hi. You're one of the best looking things I've seen in a while. Thanks. Uh, uh, th thanks, I guess. No worries, man. Uh, did you want to book an appointment with one of the counsellors? Uh, I've already got one. Because of the HR? No. My parents have been doing some fucking intervention, exorcism bullshit and... I've been surrounded by priests and reprogrammers for days. Heavy. You said it. Not from Sydney, hey? Well, no. Okay. Can I have your phone? What? You don't want my number? No. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Hold on. Call me. So, originally, I was coming over here to make sure you were okay. But I just saw what happened. Yeah, and um, I think you're just fine. His name's Nathan. Where I can breathe. Take me to a home where I can breathe. Bring me to the banks and break. What did you take last night, Nick? I don't know. You don't know? No pills. What kind of pills? I don't know. Small ones. Small ones? Nathan said they were fine. So you let Nathan 
allow you to take something and you didn't even know what it was. You didn't think that was, like, stupid? I mean, it made me feel good. I'm okay, aren't I? Do you want to lose your job? No. Well, if you keep doing crap like this, you're going to lose your job. Is it worth it? I don't want to look at you anymore. Can you leave me alone, please? I want to finish this. Tim. Hey. Mark. Hey, nice to meet you. Uh, uh, you're here for Blake? Uh, no, um... <laughs> you're here for the group? Yeah. I run the group. Really? Yeah. How are you doing? Um, good, thank you. Good. Good. Well, do you want to come through and, you know, meet the guys? Yeah. Cool. Come this way. You don't even smoke. It's been such a long day. What's wrong? Thanks for looking after Nikki today. Yeah, problem. I don't know what's gotten into him. I mean, he's pulling some stupid stuff. I feel like there's something else. No. I'm just really glad that you're here. Come here. How'd it go, babe? It was a bit of a one-sided conversation, but other than that, it was fine. Cat, it's me. Don't do that. It's her birthday. Mum would have been 54. Talk to me. I don't remember the sound of her voice. I remember other things, like, uh, she always loved lemon cake and red candles, always red candles on her birthday. 
Do you know how hard it is to find red candles? But I can't remember the details anymore. And I need to remember. Because I need to hear her voice. I need to hear her telling me that I'm not stuffing it up. Because I don't know what I'm doing. And I don't... I don't know how to do any of this. I, I don't want to stuff it up now for Nikki as well. And I don't want to stuff it up for you now either. I'm always going to be here for you. Always. She would have really liked you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. Sam's mailbox. Please leave a message. Thank you. Hey you. It's been a while. Um, I just rang to tell you how sorry I am for everything. I was just scared. I, I understand if you can never forgive me, but I want you to know how deeply sorry I am. And, um, that I want nothing but happiness for you. You're a great guy. You deserve better. Um, take care, Sam. Wait, can I get discounts on this? I think so. Is it, is it toxic? Can you use it for humans? I'll go. Hi, how can I help you? My gears are stuck. Oh, um, let me have a bit of a play down here. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> what are you? Nothing. I'm all good. You're definitely talented. And so I've heard. Well, maybe I should take you for a drink sometime. Say thanks. Uh, yeah, sure, I'd like that. <laughs> good, well, I know where to find you. <laughs> I'll keep those gears well lubricated. I will. Unbelievable. I should give you all the male customers. Oh, I don't know. Milky Bar Kid was kind of cute. Yeah, he's definitely less of an ass than I've seen you date lately. All right, I'm upgrading, okay? Cut me some slack. <laughs> you got somewhere better than Oh, me. all right, all right, I'm working. You for? Michelle got super angry at me because she thought I was like flirting with this customer. He was actually flirting with me. What were you? No. No, I was just doing my job. Where are the boys tonight? They're out, I think. Sam too? Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Wait, why aren't we out tonight? I want to go out. I want to feel pretty and get dolled up. I can't. You know I have to work early tomorrow. Oh, come on. We can go out and have some fun. And I want to pick up like this. Please. Please. I look cute. Don't <laughs> do that. <laughs> Come on, let's go out. One drink. Just one drink.
to both politically and um, What? What? Really? Really? Wow, yeah, that's really Mitchell Blake. You know what? What was that at the club last night? I thought, I thought we were just having fun. As I recall, we were just drinking and playing that stupid swapping game. Yeah, it was pretty stupid, wasn't it? I don't understand. Okay, so what, what's your problem? We were just having fun, we were drunk, all right? And you were with someone as well, so why are you so angry? Well, it was your idea, Kat. You're a big girl, Blake. You can actually say something if you didn't want to do it. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna say, fuck you. Right back at you, Blake. Fuck you too. Ready for some fun? Yeah. Who's this? Just a mate. Who? You had a threesome before? No, I I thought it was just gonna be me and you. Now we're gonna have some fun. Take your shirt off. No, I don't. I don't. What? I, I thought it was just gonna be you. And... What does it matter? Well, I don't want to do anything with him. Have another line. No, I no Nathan no. Uh, where's my phone? I'm gonna go. Are you serious? Yeah. What? What the fuck do you think you're doing? I'm gonna leave, Nathan. Why are you leaving? I don't want to do all that. So what? You're gonna come and take all my drugs and then fuck off? Nathan, I just want to go freaking home. You're freaking out. I just want to go home. You're freaking out. Can you let me go, You're please? freaking out. Can you let me go? You're freaking fuck out. Fuck off, Nathan! Fuck! Go! That's when I decided to do the whole backpacking through Southeast Asia thing. Oh, okay. So, um, what made you decide to move back to Melbourne? Did I tell you I moved back to Melbourne? Um, yeah, you, you mentioned it. No, I didn't. There. Yeah, you did, actually. Did you Facebook stalk me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, yes, I did. But in my defence, a girl has to know how much pepper spray to carry, all right? A lot. We're in a park. Anyway, did you find what you're looking for? Um, aside from the 2005, my fringe phase, no. Ouch. That hurts. So what's your deal? Hmm? Bored of your wife, three different kids from three different baby mamas. What is it? Okay, full disclosure? Yes. All right. I'm not bored of my wife. She's doing three to five in prison. It's my kid. It's Reginald, Persephone, Johnson. <laughs> you are too much. Hey, where are you going? I don't know those kids. Show me. Ooh, man, you look like shit. Yeah, I feel like crap. Pass me a beer. Here we are. Cheers. 
You gonna tell me about it? Just... Just be careful. Don't want to lose you, Nick. You play something for me? <laughs> we like you. So, first crush. Princess Jasmine? Oh, liar. No, 100% truth. You? Simba. Noted. Guilty pleasure? Mm. The Brady Bunch. That was a really good show. Okay, now you've had too much to drink. What? Sorry, guys, she's had enough. Uh, we're, no, don't we're listen. Cutting off. No, no more drinks. I need that to keep no warm. Can I please have that back? Thank you. The Brady Bunch. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what do you like about the Brady Bunch so much? Um, I don't know. I think... I think I just like the idea of a postmodernistic happily ever after. You know, what's wrong with that? Why? What do you want? Check, please. Yeah. Can you tell me more about this Brady Bunch? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> I've been holding something deep. I thought you were the answer to questions that my mind had seemed to come across. Now my head's decaying But my thinking come undone And I'm not sure what I'm feeling I know there's something wrong And now I'm disappearing And there's nothing you can say Hey Paul, um, great show once again. It's Paulini. So, how's it been for these last few months? Yeah, pretty full on. You get used to it, honey. It doesn't change. How do you cope with it all? <sighs> Me? I'm the last person you should talk to. I'm way too cynical now. No, tell me. Okay. But you were warned. I got it. Life is hard and cruel. But we make our own way. It's like a war. You know, there are enemies, but you don't always know from where they'll come. And they can't bear to see you. They can't bear to touch you. And then they try and change you. Make you think that being you isn't enough. Like it's all your fault. I mean, being kicked out of home, that was bad enough, but at least they were honest. That, that's just awful. I know. No one should live like that. 
So what do you do? You do whatever you have to do to live and to love and to love yourself. There's no guarantees that others are going to love you or that you'll even love them. What do you mean? It's like... seeing a reflection in a shop window. Three seconds ago, you were oblivious. And then you realize that it's at that point. That precise point when you're happy, smiling, laughing, madly in love, living the best life you've ever lived. You're suddenly the saddest. Oh, what if the one comes along? <laughs> then you run like hell. So what do you do now? For love? Yeah, for love. To be connected to someone. Well, life is about choices. About choosing who you really want to be. And if you want to lie, it's fine. Lie. We all do. If you want to be the absolute best at what you do, then do that too. It's your choice. And it's up to you to live, honey. To really live. And there is nothing more exhilarating than that. Oi, bitch. Look who I found spying on you. Hi, baby. <laughs> Nikki, <laughs> let me introduce you to the most amazing woman oh. on the planet. My mum. Hi, Nick. Hey. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hi, honey. Why didn't you tell me you got back from holiday so soon? I wanted to surprise you. I love you, Mum. I love you too, sweetheart. Talk to me. What's up, sweetheart? Are you okay? I'll be okay. I love you so much and I am so proud of you. I see how professional your shows are. I look at how far you've come. You're beautiful, darling. You're absolutely fabulous. I love you, darling. Hang on. Is that my dress? You seeing anyone? No, not really. <laughs> when are you and Kat gonna get it together? I don't know. I don't know if it's her thing. I really don't. I think it is. Yeah, but what do I know? Man, <laughs> I sit out here, I see everything. That's why I'm here. I've been working on a song for you. Yeah. Yeah, you want to hear it? Yeah, I want to hear it. <laughs> Let's hear it. Why you would not comfort me You saw it all as you would see At times I wished you'd take my hand Guide me through unknown lands To look you in the eye when I ask you why To listen to your voice To let me know my choice And it all comes back to you Hey! So, um, 
We need to talk. Okay. I know you've been avoiding me. Maybe. I don't get it. We love spending time together. We have so much fun. And obviously the sex is amazing. <laughs> and now you're dating that Chris guy. I just don't get it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. It's not an excuse, but yeah. Well, don't you feel us? You don't. It's hard to explain to you because you don't understand. You know exactly who you are and you know what you want and you have this amazing support system back home. I don't have any of that. And with Chris, with Chris, I know the deal, right? There are no surprises. You know that this has absolutely nothing to do with you, right? This is all me trying to figure everything out. Yeah, okay. So how are you doing with it all? Oh, with the group, you mean? That and other stuff. You know, I didn't respond too well at first. I know that feeling. Yeah? Yeah. My sister, she's HIV positive. She still had two kids and had a great family. What are you thinking? I'm sort of thinking about it in a different way. Like, I can imagine a different world with it. You know, not bad, just different. It takes people a long time to get to that point. I don't want to lie to myself. That, mister, is a plan. Let's go again. Taking the news so well. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of you. Why? Because you just have to tell your best friend. I mean, you're the strong one. You've always been the strong one. You know, babe, I didn't come back just to see my family. I've come back because I want you to come back with me. I don't want to talk about that. Okay, but you're coming to LA for the holidays, right? Yeah, to visit my family. So, we can talk about it then. Oh, yes, I'll get that. Gabby, some things never change. <laughs> I like the new do. Why? <laughs> I don't even know. Why did we break up again? Oh, we were young and scared, I guess. It's, you know, just one of those things. What kind of things? kind of thing where, you know, it just wasn't moving forward and, you know, we went in different directions. We just got off the bus. Got off the bus? Babe, you know what I mean. Like, it just stopped and, you know, we wanted different things. 
Yeah. You know, I did a really big thing and I moved here. But you didn't have to. Yes, I did. Why? Space and time. I had to find myself again. I had... I had to be away from you, Gabby. Babe, I miss you. You know, LA isn't home without you. I want you to come back with me. I know. Come on. Guys, our last get together before Blake goes on holiday tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Sorry, Sam, but can someone else make the coffee from now on? How about you make it yourself? Yeah, what's wrong with it? I like it. No, sorry, I no. Okay, well, the cultured people like it. Yeah, we like it. So, uh, should we leave you two cultured ones alone then? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. Off you go. Mm -hmm. You actually seem so much happier, Sam. Thanks. Yeah, I think I am. Just had to get my head around things, take my medication, eat vegetables again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you. Aww. I'm proud of you too. So, hate to rain on the parade, but I don't actually know if I'm coming back from LA. Wait, what? I just really miss my family. Yeah, but we're your family. Yeah, but my real family. You waited until now to tell us? Mm hmm. Nice. Well, you don't want to keep your real family waiting, so you should probably go. 
Yeah, actually the taxi is here, so. You're always welcome here, you know that? Thank you. Come back for a holiday. Okay, thank you, Sam. I love you. Mm. Nikki. Bye, bye, Nikki. Bye. Try and come back soon. Do you need help? No, it's okay. Okay. I guess I'm leaving. Bye, guys. See ya. Define me with all your words, then find me a lesson to be learned. You can brand me or burn me, and I won't let it hurt me. Define me, 
is what I am Then try me as just a simple man I'm no harm to you I'm just doing the best I can And if I'm defined by what I do Then what am I supposed to call you The shadow of a broken past you We're starting this party tonight Where people will be undefined And love who they want When the judgment is done And won't have to hide We're starting this party right now Where people can shake off their doubts and send out their love as it moves through the crowd and people can shout that they love a man or they love a woman and no one will be judged for love and I can't be judged for who I am To find me with broad cliches But I won't undergo any hate for a stranger's mistake I struggled through the boundaries of society's needs and now I'm not trying to please It's freeing to find me as God's child And I'm human and we're all in the world This earth is as much mine as yours in the end so let's unite as friends And if I can lie in nature's bed Without the roses killing me, killing dead, me dead I think the earth has got a point And we're a moving joint And if I can say my prayers at night I think I'm doing so song of safety and carry through the night we're starting this party tonight where people will be 